Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. A quick word from the boss in the background. She's telling me what to do, as usual. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good afternoon, good morning, good day, whatever time of day it is, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to Sunday Night Is Advent Organ Music Night. Now, the missus, who is to be obeyed at all times, the missus has decided that tonight is going to start out as a, um, as a gentle, relaxing concert of music for the Advent season. Um, over here in Germany, Advent's a big thing in the run-up to Christmas and uh, the four weeks before Christmas. You know, we build up towards Christmas. Now, I know in other parts of the world it's been, you know, Christmas season since well, October, probably. Um, probably the middle of October in some places. And um, uh, over here, things are... A little more subdued. So the first part of this evening's concert, and I stress the first part of this evening's concert, will be slightly more subdued. I say slightly more subdued. There's going to be bloody loud stuff in there as well, as you heard just, just now. Um, and there will be a little bit of excitement because we have a few celebrations this evening. A very important celebration to start out. It's my mum's birthday. And she's in the chat tonight. She's always here. My mum's here on a regular basis. And she's taken time out of her busy birthday schedule to join us this evening. And I think we have to, we have to get together and sing happy birthday to mum, don't we? Um, so if you all get your singing hats on, please, and we want to sing happy birthday to my mum. Now, my mum, she's in the chat there. Her name is Frances, and uh, we can all sing happy birthday, dear Frances, happy birthday to you. And she will be very, very pleased with us indeed, and um, she will love you all. That's a promise. That's a promise. You will, won't you? You will love us all if we all sing. Now, I'm not going to leave my... Shall I? No, I'm not going to leave my microphone on. Vanessa, do you want to sing with me? And we'll leave microphones on. She says no. She can't. Yes, you can. You can sing very nicely. She just refuses shy. to. She's shy. Since when have you been shy? She's not shy. Trust me. She's only shy when she has to sing things. Um, problem, you know, if you live with a musician, you tend to be shy about singing things. So that's the problem. So anyway, let's all sing happy birthday for my mum. And um, I'll switch the microphone off because I'm going to sing other words. So you sing whatever you want. Um, uh, happy birthday, dear Francis. Happy birthday, old mum. I have to say that because she's 70 something today. I'm not allowed to I'm not allowed to say how much, but she's 70 something today. Happy birthday. Hope you had a wonderful day. She was out with my sister and um, her grandchildren today, my nieces and nephews, for something to eat. I gather you had a slap up meal, as it were. So I do hope you enjoyed that. And yes, thank you for joining us this evening and taking time out of your busy birthday schedule. Good fun indeed. Right, now, ladies and gentlemen. I beg your pardon. Oh, yes, it's time. Hold on. Oh, I need my, I need my German book. Um, like I said, big tradition here in Germany, um, you know, when things get towards Christmas time. And ev every... What? You want me to sing? Yes. Oh, for heaven's sake. Who wants me to sing? I don't want to sing, but actually there's going to be some singing this evening. We have a singing surprise for you this evening, so oh, do yeah. stick around. You will not be disappointed. If you've seen the thumbnail for today's concert, you will not be disappointed. We've got the most sublime, or shall we say, going from sublime to ridiculous. It's both sublime and ridiculous. It's wonderful. Why do I still talk with my headphones on? Uh, it's absolutely wonderful. And um, 
our friend, Gaucho gang member and, and original YouTube organist, one of the first YouTube organists about a hundred years ago. Jerry, when did you start? 13 years ago or something like that? Jerry's been here since the, probably the beginning of YouTube, actually. He's one of the very first YouTube organists ever. And Jerry has become a very close friend, not only of Vanessa and myself, but a close friend of the Gaucho gang. And uh, on Friday night, during our Friday night concert, um, we forced Jerry into something, shall we say. So stick around for that, because that is just absolutely unbelievable. Vanessa and I were up until three o'clock this morning getting it ready. I sent everything over to Jerry. Jerry lives in Ohio. I sent everything to Jerry. Jerry then worked his magic and did some amazing stuff and sent it all back. So this is, you know, this is a very spontaneous thing. And it's coming later what this did evening. I didn't say that the whole morning, the master. What did I do this morning? <gasps> That's true, yeah. actually. I oh right, okay. Anecdote time. Early this morning, very early this morning, I had to get up. Because it's Sunday, you know, if you're a church musician, it's Advent, you have to go to church and, you know, do music. And I had a performance with one of my, well, not one of them, it's my only choir these days, a performance with my choir this morning in a local church. And I had to be there at 10 o'clock in the morning. Hmm. So that meant, for my purposes, getting up early. Now, I'd been up, like I say, Vanessa and I had been up until 3 in the morning here at the organ recording stuff to send over to Jerry. And so we didn't get much sleep. And um, at the moment, our little doggy is a little bit sick. So, you know, we're not getting much sleep anywhere at the moment because he's breathing very heavily and snoring a lot, shall we say. Um, so anyway, so at nine o'clock this morning or just before nine, yes, I will get on with it. At nine o'clock this morning, the alarm went. I got up, quick shower and, you know, all that sort of stuff. And as I was making a little bit of breakfast, switched on the computer, check, oh, there's an email from Jerry with our surprise for tonight. So. I sneaked back into the bedroom, took Vanessa's iPhone, air, air dropped the video onto her iPhone, and then when I left to go off to church, I sort of woke her up again. I sort of went back, you know, cuddled, cuddled up in bed and woke her up again, and I said, there's a little surprise for you on your iPhone. And she thought, oh, isn't he romantic? He's done something really cute and romantic for me. And when I wake up, there'll be a lovely, cute message, and and virtual flowers and roses and all the rest of it. And well, I suppose it was a kind of romantic so idea, wasn't it? From <laughs> she, she said it was something romantic from Jerry. So there we are. So anyway, um, so when this comes, then, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you will you will see what we're on about, and you'll see that it wasn't necessarily the most romantic thing in the world, um, but it's definitely a fun thing. So at least it put a smile on her face when she woke up this morning. So there we are. Right, get on with the bloody candles, Fraser. Stop your talking. Um, Versha. One, two, three, or four? Wo fange ich an? Hinten oder vorne? Shall I start there and work forwards? Or start here and work backwards? Yeah, forward. Here? Yes. Here? Yes. Nummer eins? Yeah. Okay, got to do this in German, you see. Right, we're going to light the first candle. And why, would, why, do, why am I lighting it? I should be playing the music and you could do it. Um, oh, yes, I have to sing this as well. Do I have to sing this? If you know this, sing along with me. It's a very traditional old German hymn that you sing at Advent um, during the four weeks up to Christmas. And we light the candles, you see. And then you sort of see that the different candles are burning. So every verse represents a different week. It's quite a long one. Okay, and I'm going to try doing this at the same time. <clears throat> there we go. Wir sagen euch an den lieben Advent. Sehet die erste Kerze brennt. Wir sagen euch an eine heilige Zeit. Machet dem Herrn den Weg bereit. Freut euch, ihr Christen, freut euch sehr. Schon ist nahe der Herr. 
There you are, ladies and gentlemen. We did it. We did it. We set light to the first candle and only the first candle. We didn't set fire to anything else in the room so far. Why are we doing this? Good God, she's in a romantic mood tonight. It must have worked this morning, my romantic surprise. She's romantic. Um, we're going to do this every week on the Sundays. We're on our Sunday concerts, we're going to do this every week in the run-up to Christmas. That You know we're getting ready for Christmas. And we're going to do it together with you, the audience. So do join us on Sundays for this. And we will have these sort of these gentle, soothing, magnificent Sunday concerts in the run-up to Christmas. Now... When I say gentle and soothing, I'm obviously talking rubbish because this next piece of music is incredibly bouncy and loud and wonderful. Now, if you're an Anglican person with an English hymnal, uh, then this is not an Advent hymn. It's not a Christmas hymn. You will find it at Easter time. However, over here in its original form by George Friedrich Handel, as he was in English, or George Friedrich Georg Friedrich Händel, as he was in German, um, you will recognize this as Tochter Zion, Frohohohohoye Dich. Mm. And this is, this is one of the most traditional Advent hymns you will come across in German churches. And it's absolutely wonderful because it's great fun. Absolutely great fun. Sorry, I'm reading in the chat here and I see you're all being very, um, you're all being very um, kind about my singing voice. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I don't intend to make a regular thing of this. However, I will sing from time to time if, if you force me. And when I say force me, that means when you go and buy virtual concert tickets. You know what to do. Vanessa, link in the description, please.
Didn't I say this was going to be a quiet and gentle night? Obviously, I'm talking crap. So, yes, thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That is our um, Tochter Zion. Now, someone was saying this, it's an Easter hymn. Yes, in English, it's an Easter hymn, but in German, it's an Advent hymn. So there you are. Now, this organ, someone's saying, tubas, do you have tubas? Well, we, no, but we have better, we have these things. We have enormous, big, cracking reeds, they're called. You know, in organs, there are different things. There are, there are stops that are sound like flutes. There are stops that sound like, I don't know, here we go, top stop that sound, get off. Stops that sound like strings. Yeah, and then there are stops that sound like enormous trumpets. And then when you combine all of that to make big noises, you get this. Good God! It's too much, I tell you. When you're listening on headphones like this, it does deafen. Um, the organ we're using this evening is something uh, sampled. Um, these four manuals and pedals and controls I have here, that's just basically a glorified MIDI controller. Controlling software here on my PC. This is a touchscreen, look. Uh, controlling software here on my PC. It's called Hauptwerk. Hauptwerk is uh, an organ term, meaning great manual, the big stops. Um, and this software, these are actual organs in actual buildings. Now, there could be church organs like this. There could be theater organs. There could even be Hammond organs. We've got all of this. And um, they've been sampled note for note, pipe for pipe, you can imagine how big these files are. They are, they are you know, huge. This thing is, I don't know, how, uh, all the different samples for this organ take up, I can tell you actually, um, takes up over 100 gigabytes and it's loaded into RAM. So this computer has 128 gigabytes of RAM and currently it has 15 free. So you can imagine how much RAM this is using. And all those samples are in the RAM memory of your computer um, and can be used. And the organs are sampled as they are in the church. So with the acoustic. So that's the actual acoustic of the building you're hearing there. That's nothing that's been added later. It's amazing. It's frightfully exciting stuff. And if you're into that, yeah, I do suggest looking it up. Um, why am I telling you this? I tell you this on a regular basis, but I know, I know for a fact we have some new folks with us this evening, and I, we always say welcome to new folks. And um, there's a very special chap I want to mention this evening who's joining us for the first time. He recently discovered our channel, and uh, I'm very happy to, to let you know that he's here tonight, and I hope you don't mind me mentioning you being here tonight. It's a chap, uh, American chap, Magic Mike the Mechanic, who's with us tonight. And Magic Mike the Mechanic, some of you might know, he's one of uh, Tyler Hoover's mechanics from well, the Car Wizards shop over in Kansas. Um, my, Magic Mike has his own channel, and I'd please go and check it out because he's a wonderful guy. He does all his own music for his videos, which is wonderful. And Mike, Michael... Is um, he loves you know music like Eric Satie and you know he, some of the music he's put on his own videos where he's working on cars. It's amazing because it's sort of very calm and soothing actually. It makes the whole sort of thing ah, makes it rather lovely actually. And uh, Mike adds his own music, and he's been doing his own compositions on his own piano at home and things like that. And I think it's wonderful. So um, I was speaking to Mike the other day and I said, you know, if you want to hear some organ music, because apparently he likes organ music too. Crazy, why would you like organ music, Mike? But great to have you along. And um, here we are, this is what we do. So you never know, maybe at some point in the future, Mike and I will get together and do some music together. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? That would be really cool. So, yes, where we are. There he is, thank you. I'm so happy to have found this fantastic community. Well, we're so happy to have you here. Welcome to the Garchor Gang. Hope you enjoy it. Right, oh, there we are. Everyone's gonna, everyone's gonna say hi now. Everyone loves you, <laughs> which is the way it should be. That's the joy of YouTube, I find. People all around the world doing all these wonderful things together. And it's, it's I don't know if you've noticed this, but it does tend to be two things that get people together in a friendly way. Music and cars. So there you have it. Right, on with the music, on with the show. We've got a wonderful piece of music here, and this is again a very famous German hymn at this time of year. Um, we're going to get on to some popular music soon, not just hymns. Um, and this is one, this is Maria durch ein Dornwald ging. So Maria was having a wander through a thorny wood. I'm sure you know what that is in English. Hmm? Oh, do you like this one? Oh, Vanessa's busy looking for other things in the background. 
There we go. <laughs>
Ah, oh, we're finished. Can I get my camera back, please? Oh, sorry, sorry. 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 Our director is. Um, come on, director. There we are. Thank you. <laughs> Vanessa does all the direction in the background. Sorry, she was researching something for me in the background at the same time. So, uh, yes, we're only human. Now, this, ladies and gentlemen, is a delicious piece of music. Oh, my goodness me. This is one of, I think it's actually one of the most beautiful pieces of music in the world. Now, and that's not often I say something like that, and it really is absolutely stunning. Now, this... This is an absolutely beautiful request for our friend Marek, Marek Michalak. And um, Marek is here. Marek's here tonight. Yes, he is. Magic, you're here. Of course you're here. Marek is here. Magic, wonderful. And um, a while back, a few weeks back, Marek wrote to us with a rather sad story and the piece of music connected to it. It's such a beautiful piece of music, but when you hear the story behind it, it becomes very poignant. Um, we're dedicating this to Marek's late grandfather, Georg, George. Uh, who sadly died a couple of years ago. Um, we won't go into details, but it was a great loss, not only to Marek and the family, but also to the world of music, um, because Marek's grandfather, Georg, was uh, a piano player, a conductor, choir master, you name it, a wonderful musician, and he was actually the, the, you know, the principal conductor for a long time over in Danzig, Danzig over in Poland. He was a principal conductor over there for a very long time, and it's very, very sad that he passed away under the circumstances under which he did pass away. And like I said, this was back in 2020, was that right? Two years ago. Um, very sad indeed. But the piece of music that Marek has chosen um, to dedicate to his grandfather is, like I say, one of the most beautiful pieces of music in the world. Now, when, when you think about early English Baroque music, not many people are going to think about, oh my goodness, that's going to be the most beautiful piece of music in the world. Well, trust me, it is. This is, um, sorry, thirsty work, tasty water here. Um, this is a piece of music by Henry Purcell. And um, is it pronounced Purcell? Is it pronounced Purcell? Is it pronounced, it's Purcell, people. It's Henry Purcell. And this is an es extract from his opera, Dido and Aeneas. You've got to be very careful how you say that. Um, this is an excerpt from his opera, and it's, uh, like I say, it's probably one of the most delicious pieces of music ever written, ever. And I think Henry Purcell was actually a time traveller. Can I have a tasty top-up of my beverage, please? I think he was a time traveller because this piece of music is way ahead of its time, seriously ahead of its time. Now, when you consider when was this written, well, when was... Yeah, come on, you the people in the audience, you know these things. When did Henry Purcell write his opera Dido and Aeneas? When did he write it? And just think about this. It's one of the most amazing pieces of music. It's got such complicated harmony. You could imagine it was written like 20 years ago. It's absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing. Groucho Marx, what are you talking about? <laughs> mm. This is bizarre. This is, this is what happens in the Groucho Gang. I'm talking about the most romantic and wonderful piece of music in the world. And you guys are talking about Groucho Marx. So there you are. Work that one out. <laughs> Welcome to the Groucho Gang. The piece of music is entitled, When I Am Laid in Earth. So, obviously referring to when I'm dead and buried. Um, and this arrangement, Marek actually sent me this arrangement. This is an absolutely delicious arrangement as well. This is actually a piece of music I looked at earlier today. That's how gorgeous it is. I actually practiced this a little bit. Normally, all of these things are performed at sight, but this is a bit of practice behind this one. I say a bit of practice. I saved some registrations for it. But it's a beautiful transcription by, um, I think, Swiss organist Benjamin Righetti, or Benjamin, I'm guessing, Benjamin Righetti, um, who's an incredibly talented acrobatic organist. Uh, and this arrangement of his is thankfully playable by mere mortals like myself. And uh, like I said, it's absolutely delicious. And it's perfect for this kind of grand symphonic organ. So for Marek, for Georg, for you, When I Am Laid in Earth by Purcell.
is a beautiful piece of music, isn't it? It shows off the, sort of the, the fun you can have with a grand symphonic organ, and that's exactly what Benjamin suggests we have. Pour un grand orgue symphonique. He wrote it in French. I'm guessing he's from the French part of Switzerland. But an absolutely beautiful piece of music. So thank you, Marek. That's a keeper. I'm actually going to, I think I'm going to record that as a separate video at some point in the future. That's so deliciously beautiful. Keep, please, Mrs. Garchon. Thank you very much. People are asking about my socks. Can you show the socks, please, Vanessa, please? Put them on the big screen, please. Yeah. Big screen socks. Click. Oh, that's not big screen. There we are. Check that out. Now, what are my socks tonight? My socks tonight, ladies and gentlemen, are... These were, these were a present from my mum not that long ago. Um, these have got... I'm guessing by the colour, actually. It's a tiger's head. It's either tigers or lions. Lions and tigers and bears. Oh, my. Yep, that'll do. There you are. So, there you are. People are always fascinated by socks, and uh, that's why we started wearing... Fancy socks during the organ concerts. Right, now I saw Vanessa with a lovely little green book, which means it's request time from our friend Gleis van der Rauh. And tonight, not a request from the brown book of magic magnificence, but the green book of, of um, genau, magic magnificence. A bit, so how should it be played then? Nicht als marsch. Which number? 106. 106. Okay, right. Now, the world is an amazing place and there are all sorts of you know, people from all around the world who love all sorts of different things. There are people all around the world who believe in different things. There are people all around the world who believe in different forms of religion. And these chaps here, think what you will of them. I don't care, to be honest. I really don't. Everyone is free to believe what they want to believe. And um, however, these guys certainly know how to write a tune. We're talking about the Jehovah's Witnesses. And um, funnily enough, in the village where I live here in Germany, we have a family of Jehovah's Witnesses. And, uh, and you know, when I told them that I loved the music, um, he went crazy and gave me all these links to all these amazing things um, to find out more about it. And it's true, they, they do have the most amazing music. Now, um, this piece of music, now, normally, let me, sorry, let me change these registrations again. I, I'm a, who says I'm a dangerous tiger? Marcus, Marcus, thank you, Marcus. I am. Well, only Vanessa can answer that. Vanessa, am I a dangerous tiger? She says no intimate information in the background. I think a few years ago I was a dangerous tiger. Am I not a dangerous tiger anymore? That's not a compliment, Mrs. G. Oh God, she's looking at me with those big eyes. Okay, maybe I am. She's actually the she's the dangerous tiger in this family. I'm the one that has to watch out. Let put it like this, Vanessa and I share the same age gap as George Clooney and his wife. So, there you are. So, there you are. I, and, oh, hold on a minute, I, I had this the other day as well. Who else did, we had someone else the other day. Um, Les Dawson, remember Les Dawson, the, um, the, um, the British comic, wonderful British comic. His second wife was also similarly younger than he was. Hmm. So, there you are. So, yes. Um, Anyway, back to the music, back to the music. We, we, we are getting kind of um, carried away this evening. Well, it's almost 11 o'clock, which means we get to brighten things up in a minute. I'm, it's so dark in here, I can hardly see what I'm doing. Nein. Yes, Vanessa, we have to brighten it up. Otherwise, our surprise is gonna be hell. Oh my God, oh, she's, she's doing this, she's giving me the hand. You know, you know when your wife holds out the hand and says, ask the others, it's that sort of, she, she wants to be right. Nein. Anyway. Nein. She's doing it again. She's doing this. She's longing. What are you doing, woman? Well, so she's longing to ask you a question. Go on, then. Ask a question. Ladies and gentlemen, do you like the light all sort of subdued like this? I suppose it's good. It means you don't get to see all my wrinkles and grey hair. But, um, you know, if you like the light like this. But, however, there is a surprise still to come. And it was recorded in... Full cinema light, so uh, it could be different. Anyway, back to the music. Come on, stop talking, Fraser. Back to the music. This one is called Friendship with Jehovah. And I am not allowed to play it like a march. Now, looking at it, I would say this is a wonderful march tune. And we all go sort of marching on to war. No, we don't. We all go, you know what to do. We all sort of march about. 
Um, but yes, um, it should not be played as a march. So this, therefore, is a challenge to me. How are ticket sales going this evening, Vanessa? What? People are going to, in, going to bed already? People, what's wrong with you? We've got some wonderful music coming up. Yeah. Don't go to bed. Or, even better, take us with you to bed. And uh, <laughs> take your devices with you to bed and continue watching. Um, don't forget, there's a surprise coming up. And it is worth hanging around for that surprise, believe me. All right, here we go. Let's play this music not as a march.
Hold on. How about that? Wasn't that a delicious piece of music? A wonderful piece of music. I've been doing something bizarre of late. I, am, I was not blessed with the largest hands when I was born. Um, I'm not the biggest of chaps. I'm not like five foot ten or something. I'm not the biggest. Um, but I don't have terribly big hands, which is a bit of a disgrace when you're playing a musical instrument like a piano. It would be great if I had bigger hands. But I've sort of forced myself to start stretching tenths. Ah, which is rather wonderful. And it means you can do things like that at the end. You can build up amazingly complicated five-finger harmonies in both hands. Uh, it's great fun. So there you are. Now, ladies and gentlemen, while... Did you notice, by the way, it got a little bit brighter? It doesn't look like it. It got a little bit brighter there. Vanessa tweaked the um, brightness of our cheap Chinese LED lamp in the background. Uh, <laughs> we got new lamps recently, which I sent back because they were so rotten. Um... We had some very generous um, supporters of the channel and uh, we bought some new lighting equipment and it was so bad I sent it back. So I'm on the lookout for new, decent, um, reliable LED lighting. It has to be LED. We can't have, um, you know, sort of any other kinds of... It has to be LED panels, sorry, because all the other kinds of things, they've got built-in fans and, of course, when you're performing music, that's too loud, especially in a tiny room like this. Ladies and gentlemen, people are going to bed. No, 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 no. You're going to miss our amazing surprise. So, ladies and gentlemen, while that's happening, I'm going to change organs. We're going to disappear from this wonderful German church organ, and we're going to head over to the United States of America to visit an enormous cinema movie palace and play around with its theatre organ. <laughs> the Wonder Morton Theatre Organ. But while that's doing its magic in the background and loading, here, ladies and gentlemen, is a surprise for you. I warned you, at three o'clock this morning, Vanessa and I were still doing surprises, still doing all sorts of work here in the organ room, and we came up with this little number here. A couple of weeks ago, Gaucho gang member Urza Mayor. Now, we know Urza Mayor's real name, and we're going to use that as blackmail against her one of these days. Um, Urza Mayor sent me a book by my least favourite composer of all time, a German children's music composer called Rolf Zukowski. And Rolf Zukowski is very famous for a tune called In the Weihnachtsbäckerei, In the Christmas Bakery, basically, if you want to translate it. And for a bet, for a bet, I sang it uh, during a concert here. And you all loved it so much, we decided to do this. Are you ready, ladies? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready, ladies and gentlemen? We need to switch to camera number four, press a button, and ladies and gentlemen, this is the magic of international music making. May I present Jeremiah Martin and Fraser Garchor together with Rolf Zukowski's In der Weihnachtsbäckerei. In der Weihnachtsbäckerei gibt es manche Leckerei. Zwischen Mehl und Milch mag so manche Knilch eine riesengroße Kleckerei. In der Weihnachtsbäckerei, in der Weihnachtsbäckerei. Wo ist das Rezept geblieben von den Plätzchen, die wir lieben? Wer hat das Rezept verschleppt? Na, dann müssen wir es packen, einfach frei nach Schnauze backen, schmeiß den Ofen an und ran. In der Weihnachtsbäckerei gibt es manche Leckerei, 
Zwischen Mehl und Milch wachs so manche Knüsch, eine riesengroße Kleckerei in der Weihnachtsbäckerei, in der Weihnachtsbäckerei. Brauchen wir nicht Schokolade, Honig, Nüsse und Zucade und ein bisschen Zimt? Das stimmt. Butter, Mehl und Milch verrühren, zwischendurch einmal probieren und dann kommt das Eim vorbei. In der Weihnachtsbäckerei gibt es manche Leckerei. Zwischen Mehl und Milch mag so manche Knilch eine riesengroße Kleckerei. In der Weihnachtsbäckerei, in der Weihnachtsbäckerei. Bitte mal zur Seite treten, denn wir brauchen Platz zum Kneten. Sind die Finger rein, du Schwein? Sind die Plätzchen, die wir stechen, erstmal auf den Ofen blechen? Warten wir gespannt, oh no, verbrannt! In der Weihnachtsbäckerei gibt es manche Leckerei. Zwischen Mehl und Milch mag so manche Knilch eine riesengroße Kleckerei. In der Weihnachtsbäckerei, in der Weihnachtsbäckerei, in der Weihnachtsbäckerei, in der Weihnachtsbäckerei, in der Weihnachtsbäckerei gibt es manche Leckerei. Zwischen Mehl und Milch mag so manche Knilch eine riesengroße Kleckerei. In der Weihnachtsbäckerei. In der Weihnachtsbäckerei, Würde, 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 in der Weihnachtsbäckerei. Isn't that just the most amazing thing you've ever seen in your life? Jerry, we love you. That is now, all of this started as Uza Mayo's thing, yeah? And on Friday, on Friday night, on Friday night, as a bet, we said, right, we're going to do it again, but Jerry has to join it. Jerry has to sing it with me. It has to be a duet. Um, so, Jerry, thank you so much for, um, well, first of all, agreeing to do it. Thank you so much for singing and th singing in German. Now, Jerry confessed... <laughs> She thinks it's so sweet. Uh, Jerry confessed to me that he, he had German at school. <sighs> yeah, now Jerry is what, six years younger than me? So, yeah, I mean, no offense, Jerry, but that's a long time ago. <laughs> and uh, thank you so much for agreeing to do it. Now, we have a question, and I'm willing to bet some of the Gartro gang are also going to be asking the same question. Where in God's name did you get all those hats? Yeah. Do you collect hats? Is this something we need to know about you, Dr. Martin? Is this something we need to know? Do you collect hats? And more importantly, where did you get and why have you got the Muppets Swedish chef? Hmm. Jerry, we need an explanation. <laughs> We need an explanation. Wonderful. So thank you so much, Jerry. Uh, thank you, Vanessa, for getting that, you know, sorted out. And um, Jerry, you're absolutely wonderful. I think we'll put that out as an actual video on the channel. I think that's going to be quite a popular little number. Uzamaya, what have you started? What have you started? Wonderful stuff. A big pun? Jerry, this is Murica and we have Walmart. Jerry! <laughs> The Swedish chef, that's a long story for another day. Right, Jerry, you're on. <laughs> we want to know, <laughs> Vanessa says we want to know the story. Vanessa, can you give me this book here, please? The one that I've marked. A to, A to M, I think it is. Yeah, A to L. Now, as is tradition during a Gaucho Gang Sunday and Friday night live concert, we change... Be Vanessa's holding up the Rolf Sikowski book in the background. Who wants some more Rolf Sikowski this evening? If you want Rolf Sikowski, then let me know in the chat, thumbs up in the chat, and buy a ticket. <laughs> buy a concert ticket, and we will play some more, um, we'll play some more Rolf Sikowski. Now, 
earlier this evening, I was having a quick chat to my friend, to my friend uh, Cameron Platts, Cam Platts, who's here in the audience tonight. And Cam was listening to big band music this afternoon, which got me thinking, we need some big band music too, don't we? We need some uh, big band music, and big band music is wonderful stuff. And when you have a theater organ, you can turn it into a big band. A big pardon? Oh, Jerry, Jerry Lee loves Rolf Zukowski. All right, well, we'll think about it, ladies and gentlemen. You know, what, you know how it works. We get to do it. In the key of D flat, here's a wonderful piece of music. I'm going to dedicate, now, it, it was a request that Cam came up with, but I'm going to request it to my friend Joe Humans. Joe and I were having a chat this afternoon as well about some bizarre political things that are going on in the world at the moment. The world is a strange place, it really is. Um, but that's the joy of music. It takes us away from all the nonsense out there. And here's a wonderful piece of music for all you people who like sort of mixing things up and getting in the way. It's called Don't Be That Way. It's a wonderful old big band number and it's absolutely, it's lovely. It's in the key of D flat, which is my favorite key. <laughs> cinema organ the most wonderful instrument in the universe you can do all sorts of things with it you can do these sort of slushy stuff listen to this
And then you can do this kind of stuff. And even do the Count Basie ending. Which again is a tenth. Ha! <laughs> There you are. Wonderful stuff. Now, we have more requests from the good book of amazing fun. This is a politically incorrect tune for... A big pardon? Have you got it? Have you printed it out for me? Good. We have a request from my mum as well. Oh yes, my mum's favourite tune. Oh, that's enough one. But it will be coming later. Yes, we do. We have... Yeah, that's right. We have that as well. Wonderful stuff. Mmm. A politically incorrect song of old from Mr. Noble back in 1938. One of the fastest pieces of uh, music. Let's change the registrations here. Let's have a registration with a piano. Theatre organs have pianos. And those are actually real pianos that were in the real organs back in the days. Absolutely wonderful stuff. Right, here's a piece of music called Let's give, it its, let's give it its politically incorrect title first, in brackets, the Indian love song. And it's got nothing to do with the land of the rising sun, India. It's got something to do with the United States of America. And it's a wonderful piece of music simply called Cherokee, which sounds like it should be a sort of romantic number. It's not. <laughs> given the high speed treatment there. For all lovers of Circle of Fifths, this is an amazing song because the middle bit goes. That's modulating from B flat major, going via this bizarre key here. 
to B major, then going from there, and then, and then, taking us back. Complete modulation through all the circle of fifths using two, five, one modulations. What am I talking about? If you don't know, find out more later. Wonderful stuff, absolutely magnificent stuff indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, we had a request for, we always have a request for this. It's usually, there's usually someone in the background who requests one of these. Is it possible to play music of a boogie-woogie nature on a theatre organ? Yes, it is. Is it possible to play it on a big theatre organ on a Sunday night? Well, yes. <laughs> It certainly is. A couple of weeks ago, the world lost the boogie legend that was Jerry Lee Lewis. Uh, sadly, I never got to meet Jerry Lee Lewis, but I met a number of people who played with Jerry Lee Lewis. Many years ago, I even got to meet and play with Ray Charles, which was fascinating, uh, beyond belief, and absolutely wonderful. And um, I was mucking about on stage before the concert, and I was playing Boogie Boogie on the piano. I didn't know that Ray was hanging around behind stage listening, and Ray sort of came out when you know when Ray wasn't on stage in front of an audience he was you know although he was completely blind he was very mobile on his own and he you know he came out on stage all by himself and um, surprised me at the piano let's put it like that while I was playing a boogie woogie and he sat down beside me at the piano and told me all about the times that he you know learnt to play boogie woogie and he said one of the best people he knew who could actually play boogie woogie was Jerry Lee Lewis. So there you are. So that's my personal Jerry Lee Lewis anecdote. It's the only one I have, unfortunately. But come on, it's from Ray Charles. It can't get much better than that, can it? Um, but Boogie Woogie doesn't have to be what, you know, it doesn't have to be that. It can be much more complicated. Let's go back to Chicago of the 1930s and the Mr. Albert Ammons. Albert Ammons was perhaps one of the best theatre, uh, theatre organ, one of the best Boogie Woogie uh, piano players in the world. And he developed a left-hand style that very few people could copy. And um, by careful listening, careful listening and uh, attention, I think I got it. It sounds something like this.
There's nothing like a boogie on a Sunday night to wake you up again. After six hours of sleep, not even six hours of sleep. However, my glass is seven eighths empty, said the pessimist. Time for a top up. Mrs. G, a top up, please. Oh, good heavens. This is thirsty work indeed. It's very thirsty work tonight because it's so bloody freezing cold in Germany at the moment. We've got the fire on downstairs in the house, which means it's like a blooming sauna up here. Um, theoretically, I should be playing this concert tonight in a t-shirt and nothing else. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Oh, hold on. We have, oh, let me have that actually. There's a request from our friend Kai. Is Kai here tonight? Nee. Oh! Kai, are you still here? If Kai is still here, a quick thumbs up and we will play this. If not, we will do it with um, different things. Jez M, how do you switch the percussion on with your pedals? I don't, is the answer. Um, you can't see them, but hidden under each of the manuals there are buttons. And these are basically MIDI controllers, but organs, church organs, theatre organs, they have rows of buttons here and they use, they're used to control various combinations of stops. Let me get rid of that there. So instead of switching on and off the stops here by clicking there, I can save combinations of stops and I can recall those combinations using these buttons here and I uh, they're in sequences. So I have a sequence of stops. These stops were recorded or registered for, I can't remember now, probably a boogie boogie because they've got the piano in them. Mm. And I can move backwards and forwards through these sequences with backwards and forwards buttons under each manual and also down here at my right toe. Click. So I can do it without touching anything with my hands. You can see the stops changing. Um, I have a button there that switches everything off. And like I say, that button, these buttons here, they change the different stops. So once I work through my registrations, here's number one. Here's number two. Here's number three, the pianos. Number four, the pianos with even big, big, big band stuff. And number five has the, um, all the percussions. There you are. And that's just this set of registrations. Hold on, what's this request here? Is this a classical or a fun request? Oh, that's from my mum. Shall we do that now? Shall we do it now? Why not, actually? Why not? It's in the key of D major. What a horrendous key to be playing this piece of music in. My mum, my mum was born in a decade with a four in front. I'm not going to say any more than that. Is that, yeah, that's all right. We can still say that. And um, that means when she was, uh, you know, in her twenties, twenties, there was a six and then a seven and that kind of thing. And um, so, you know, in the age, well, when she was, let's say Vanessa's age, um, she was, Vanessa is 32. So when my mum was 32. <laughs> Actually, hold on a minute. When my mum was 32, this band wasn't around either. So hold on. So my mum would have been mid thirties. Actually, this piece of music came out when my mum was 40. <gasps> oh my goodness me. So yes, there we are. And, um, but you know, in the time, you know, when you're young and you like good music. And um, my mum was a great fan of ABBA, the wonderful Swedish group. And this is one of her favourite tunes of all time, if not her favourite tune of all time. So I better get it right. <laughs> it's called Thank You For The Music. I'm nothing special. In fact, I'm a bit of a bore. That's what it says at the beginning here. If I tell a joke, you've probably heard it before, but I have a talent, a wonderful thing, because everyone listens when I start to sing. That's not true. I'm so grateful and proud. All I want is to sing it out loud. So I say, ta. I decided to change the registrations. These are a bit sort of violent for this piece of music. Let's try this instead.
Cha cha cha, didn't we? If you're new to the Gartrell Gang, every time you hear a cha 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 in the music, you have to click your fingers. Cha cha cha, boom. Okay, there we are. There we are. That was my mum's birthday request. Thank you for the music. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Wonderful stuff indeed. Hope you enjoyed that. Now, there's a wonderful little piece of music that I don't think anybody knows, and that's good because there's a joke in the name, there it is. And it's one of my old favourite pieces of jazz music from the good old days when I had my own band. Yes, I used to have a band. It was called, well, I had various bands actually. Um, one was called Gotcho's Gentleman, which I thought was rather good. 
And we were, we were gentlemen of jazz until we'd all had a few to drink and then we became less gentlemanly, but nonetheless we were gentlemen of jazz. And then I had the Fraser Garter Trio, because there was only three of us, um, and after all of that I got fed up working with others so I just became Fraser Garcho. Ha! Ah. And believe me, it's much easier, but there's a wonderful piece of music that I loved playing and it's got, I don't know why, there's something about it that I just love. Wonderful chord sequences and it's a real good swing number that nobody plays. It's from 1925, it's a really old one. And like I say, it's something nobody knows and it's actually called I Never Knew and it sounds like this. I never knew. A wonderful piece of music indeed. Ah, it's getting close to the midnight hour, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, the director would like to have a quick word. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk the director through something here. Okay, um, click das mal weg. Click uh, other downloads there. I can't see without my glasses. 
Is that the one we played the other night? Ja, okay, mach mal Pause. Ist es das? Ja, ich glaube schon. Ja, okay, gehen wir zurück zum Anfang. Mach mal full screen, green. Okay. Okay, all right, we'll put the sound back on here. Ladies and gentlemen, anyone here from Central America, anyone here old enough to remember the legendary uh, Ron Riley? We had Ron with us on Friday night. Uh, Ron is an old, an old, well, it's still around. Ron, Ron is still very much around, still very much active. And Ron is a friend of the Garcho gang as well. And Ron had a little video for us the other night, um, thanks to our friend Cam Platt. And uh, Ron had a little request for the Garcho gang. For those of you who missed it on Friday night, here is Ron Riley, ladies and gentlemen, legend of American radio and TV. Are you ready, Vanessa? Mm -hmm. Vanessa's busy faffing about in the background with all sorts of other things. Are we ready? You can press play and then we should be good to go. Ron Riley, ladies and gentlemen. Guten Abend, meine Damen und Herren. Ich hoffe, es all is good. <laughs> Sehr gut. Hello, everybody. Fraser, Vanessa, greetings, Garchor gang. My name is Ron Riley, and uh, for all of you who don't know who I was, <laughs> I was in commercial broadcasting, which eventually took me back to Chicago, my hometown, where I was an on-air radio personality during a fantastic period of great rock roll music in the 60s and 70s. Later on, I transitioned over to television. I was a program host and commercial narrator and later became an on-air TV broadcast meteorologist in Baltimore and Washington, D.C. But you know, that's enough about me. This is about Fraser and about you. For years now, Fraser has been performing for us hymns as well as selections for the works of the people like Bach, Mozart, Fats Waller, George Gershwin, and even Fraser Garcher himself. Well, you name it, and he's likely to have played it for all of us to enjoy. Personally, I'm looking forward to his performance of Vidor's Toccata from Symphony No. 5. Everyone loves it. Fraser's announced he's going to perform it as a part of his plans to celebrate reaching, hear this, 50,000 YouTube subscribers. Magnificent. Prima. I'm here tonight to draw your attention to a request for funding a new organ bench. That's it. It's been identified on Fraser's wish list. Now, it turns out his current organ bench is failing structurally. Would you believe? Caused by an apparent woodworm infestation. Vanessa, will you please help me here by posting the link to the wish list on the Buy Me A Coffee webpage in the chat area? It's simple. Just join me tonight by making a donation to help fund a new organ bench. Will you join us? Please, a donation process is very, very straightforward. In fact, I've donated to the fund myself. As a challenge to all of you, let's see if we can fully fund this as a Christmas gift to Fraser. Thank you so very much, Garcher gang, in advance for your participation. And now let's head back to the concert. Over to you, my friend, Fraser. The legendary Ron Riley, ladies and gentlemen. I beg your pardon? I'm not doing anything. I just switched my microphone on. Okay, sorry. Technical troubles. The legendary Ron Riley, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, a few people in the in the gang there, they know Ron, which is amazing. I think that's wonderful. Let's get Ron in the chat as well. Cam, bring Ron over. We need to get him in the chat. We need to get him here. That would be wonderful stuff. Um, 
Ron was almost singularly instrumental in getting the Beatles music played in America back in the early 60s. Can you believe that? The records, the LPs, the singles, they were being flown over to America and they were being picked up at Chicago airport, driven to this radio station where Ron could play them. He was the first to play them on commercial radio in the US. Can you believe that? Even before they were famous on the Ed Sullivan show and all that kind of stuff, Ron was the, their first. He knew them all personally. He got to tour with the Beatles as well. I mean, come on, we, what a wonderful guy, what a wonderful guy. So yeah, a wonderful member of the Gottschall gang, and thank you so much to Ron, and of course for Cam for filming that. Isn't that beautifully filmed and edited by Cam? Uh, thank you so much to both of you for coming up with this wonderful idea and helping us out a little bit. Yes, this organ bench I'm sitting on, it's almost stable today, um, but I had a look at it this afternoon, and the inside of it is starting to crumble. We noticed that earlier today, so I'm going to have to get the saw out and saw off even more of the legs and balance them up a bit. The woodworm are working their way slowly upwards. You can't treat them, obviously, now because it's, it's too far gone. Um, someone suggested just buying new legs for the bench, and I thought, well, we might as well just go and get a new one altogether. So I've been speaking to organ builders, and we're close. We're working on it. So thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. You're all very kind indeed. We love you for helping us out like that. So thank you very much indeed. This is it. This is what we do for a living. So if you are you know, willing and able to help us out, we are very, very grateful to you for all of that. It's um, amazing, the support you give us. A simple thumbs up, a simple click of the subscribe button. That will help us out as well, don't forget. Uh, but if you've got some spare cash lying around, we're always very grateful to you. Um, for helping us out in that way as well. Thank you very much indeed. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting close to the midnight hour and Vanessa has pointed me in the direction of the Rolf Sukowski book and said, you have to sit. Do you want me to sing something, folks? Yeah, the problem is I don't know these. I'm in trouble. She's telling me things in the background. She says, you know, um, when she's preparing for, you know, she's decorating the house for Christmas or doing her own Weihnachtsbäckerei, baking cookies in the kitchen and all that kind of stuff. She's got this music on in the background and normally I disappear into the garage and get my hands dirty. Um, because I, I'm not the greatest fan, I must say. Es schneit, habe ich noch. Das es schneit. Do I know that? It's not, is it snowing where you are in the world, yeah. ladies and gentlemen? If it's snowing anywhere in the world, let me know, anyone who's there, anyone out there, is it snowing in your part of the world? If yes, then we'll play this. What is this? I don't know this. Oh, hold on. Da, 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 da. Vanessa singing. Do that again. Come along. Die Welt, die Welt sieht, sieht wie's, wie gepudert, gepudert. Es schneit, es schneit, das muss ich einfach sehen. Kommt mit, kommt mit, wir wollen rodeln gehen. Ist das nicht? Wir laufen durch die weiße Pracht und machen eine Schneeballschlacht, aber bitte nicht mitten ins Gesicht. Is that it? Are there more verses? There are probably more verses. The verses are all at the back. That's no use to me. How am I supposed to do that? All right. Anyway, I'm sure we could work out something here. Is it, is it snowing there anywhere where you are? Anyone? There was snow on the Ben. That's good enough. Ian Lavery. Ian Lavery says there was snow on the Ben. That, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the most Indonesian things you could possibly want to say. I'm originally from Inverness in the north of Scotland, and um, just north of Inverness there is a hill, a mountain. It's a sort of sugarloaf mountain. It's a long, flat mountain, being very well eroded over the last billions of years, and it's called Ben Wivis. And to Invernesians, it's just called the Ben, the mountain, the Ben. And when the snow arrives on the Ben, everyone says, "Oh, there's snow on the Ben," and off they go. And that's you know, and. Um, it's, it's all they talk about. In Inverness, you can normally not see the Ben because it's covered in what's called Har, that's H-A-A-R, Har, which is the sort of the mist that comes in off the sea. And um, a lot of people talk, oh, did you see the Ben this morning? All that kind of stuff. So anyway, right, Nancy Telling, is it snow? Oh, hold on, we've got snow somewhere. Johan Östlund said, not right now, but last weekend we had almost half a meter of snow here in Sweden. I would expect some snow in Sweden. Robert says, just say no to snow. Rasbaz says, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. 
We'll do a Dean Martin night as well. Ooh, the weather outside is frightful. I would rather sing that. I don't know the words, though. Find me the words to let it snow, let it snow, and I'll sing that instead. None of this Rofsikovsky tat. We'll do a Rofsikovsky night for Uzamayo. Okay, Vanessa's going to dig up the words to let it snow, let it snow, let it snow, which I will do in a sober Dean Martin style. Okay, here we go. Rasbaz, this is on you. I think a nice ticket is in order. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Man, it doesn't show signs of stopping. Ooh, and I brought me some corn for popping. The lights are turned way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I hate going out in the storm. I can't hear myself, but if you really hold me tight, all the way home I'll be warm. Oh, the fire is slowly dying, and my dear, we're still goodbying. As long as you love me so, let us know, let us know, let us know. When we finally kiss goodnight, how I hate going out in the storm. But if you really grab me tight, all the way home I'll be warm. The fire is slowly dying. I thought there were different words, and my dear, we're still goodbye. As long as you love me so, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. And the fire is so delightful And since we've no place to go Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow Now it doesn't show signs of stopping And I've bought me some corn for popping Popping I want it way down low Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow She's playing with her mobile phone And we finally kiss goodnight 
how I hate going out in a storm. But if you really kiss me nice, she's got her hiccups. Oh, the fire is slowly dying, and my dear, we're still goodbye. Since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Yes, you can't do that when you're sober, I've just discovered. I need a glass of wine next time we do that. Did you know, by the way, that Dean Martin was very rarely drunk, if ever? It was all a show and he was drinking apple juice. Allegedly. I personally think he was pissed the whole time. Anyway, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That was Sunday Night is Organ Music Night. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you so much for joining us. We lit the first candle of Advent this evening. Next Sunday will obviously be candle number two. So do join us at the latest then. But don't forget, on Friday night, we will be back. We will be back with Friday Night is Organ Music Night. And on Friday night, we have all sorts of goodies planned. I've got quite a few exciting classical pieces ready for Friday and another couple of surprises. So don't forget, do join us. Thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen, for being here, hanging around with us and uh, wasting your Sunday afternoons and Sunday evenings with us. We are very, very happy and very honoured to have you here. So thank you very much indeed. Time then, ladies and gentlemen, for the Bye Bye Blues, and we will see you very soon. As they say in Glasgow, if we don't see you through the week, I'll see you through our window. Thank you.